Is this the best safety mod that you can put on your ninja? Hi and welcome again to Revs IT. In this box, if it works as it is said to work, maybe the best safety mod that you can fit to your ninja, uh, possibly other Kawasaki brands as well. And I don't say that lightly, because there is one thing about the ninja that uh, is, needs improving, shall I say. And this may be the answer. So what is it? Well, let's open it up and find out. So I bought this again with my own money. This hasn't been sent to me, not a promotion of any kind. And it's something that I couldn't find anywhere in UK or Europe. If you know for one, when you see what it is, please do let me know. This I had to buy from China. Bum, bum, bum. Oh dear. No, not quite. I was worried actually coming all the way from China, considering what it is, if it would arrive in one piece. Uh, you may have got a clue already as to what it is, or what they are, I should say. Because in here are the glass lenses for the mirrors. <laughs> What's so special about that? Well, what you will know if you ride a ninja is that because of the shape of the mirrors, what you tend to have is this section here is where you see what's behind you. And the same on the opposite side, of course. And this section here isn't really much use. You can turn the mirrors out a bit more, but at the end of the day, it's still... <laughs> you have to have one or the other. You can't actually have direct behind you and to see, well, what's overtaking you or what's beside you. Now, you can get the little circle stick-on mirrors to stick on the lenses, but to tell you the truth, they're utter crap. Um, <laughs> you, if you have to have really good eyesight to see in them, and then you have to have great perspective to actually use them. There is another type of mirror you can get, which is like a concave, convex, concave? Yeah, whichever. Um, that goes in the centre like the rear view mirror of a car. But these are not ordinary replacement mirrors. They are glass, as you can see. But what you might just be able to see, if I hold it just right, is that they're not flat. In fact, they're curved, just like Maybe your car mirror, if you have a car, has a curve in it now. So it shows more of what's beside you as well as what's behind you. These are, again, I can never remember, I'll put it on the screen, uh, convex mirrors or concave mirrors. So they replace your glass. They're a tiny fraction smaller than the glass that's already on there. Uh, you wouldn't notice it. And you can either put them on top of your existing glass or if your glass is already broken or you want to take it off first you can fit them in place of the glass and they come with the adhesive ready on the back there now what i will do with these because i want to give some perspective i want to try them out first before i actually stick them on permanently um i'm going to take just a little bit of the actual covering off and i'll put a bit of a uh, cut cut or something across here so if they're no good i can just slip it off and clean the mirror up but let's have a look then let's see if they do what it says on the tin or the packet or the box or the website let's have a look okay so the first thing we need to do of course is to clean off the glass itself and i'm just using some electrician's alcohol here and a microfiber just to clean off the dust and any grease that may be on it from the road put a good wipe over then what we'll do is we'll offer up the glass and I'll get a piece of cut cut or similar 
just to put behind it so that when we put the glass on and stick it in place we'll actually uh, be able to get it back off if we need to. Let's just try and fit the glass. So without dropping it it just fits in. As I said it is a tiny tiny fraction smaller than the glass that's in there and if you're putting on top of the original glass then it is going to stand a little bit proud from the glass. So that's good if it's perfectly. Get it out without dropping it. Okay so now what I have to do is make a reference really to see if it is an improvement. So I'm filming now with my GoPro Session 5 and uh, we're going to look to see, I hope, uh, what we can see in the mirrors at the moment and then we'll fit the lens and see if there is a difference. So this is my point of view. I'm holding the camera at just about my eye level. So if I look across in the left hand mirror I can see the little red box at the bottom. I can see the door frame and the edge of the door. So I can see the edge of the door pretty much that's it. Now if I come across to the other side, the right hand side, I can see my elbow but I can also see behind me a filing cabinet and a big green tool, metal tool cupboard and I can just about see the lock on it so I can see to the centre of the cupboard. Let's fit the glass and then see if there is any difference. Okay I found a little nylon lanyard. So let's try this again. Trying it everywhere can not drop anything. So we drop it in place. Just stick it either end. Is that going to come off? I need to take a bit more of the sticky off I think. I think that will just hold it while we do the test. I'm a little bit nervous that it's going to fall off there. <laughs> but uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm back on the bike. Same position. The GoPro session is held in the same place. And the side I haven't done, we can still see the red box there and the edge of the door frame to the far left. Uh, if I go to the right hand side, <laughs> I don't know about you, but uh, yeah, I can see the difference there. I can still see my elbow and the filing cabinet, but now I can see virtually all of that cupboard. Um, there are a few things hanging up that are in the way, but you couldn't see those. Uh, you could see just where the padlock is. Uh, you can just about see to the middle. Now I can see almost all the way across. What difference does this make? Well, it means that you can see a lot more behind you. You can see what's directly behind you, but you can also see a lot more of what's to your right hand side and behind you. And the same when I put the left hand side, you'll be able to see the uh, traffic coming up better on the left hand side and the right hand side, which is closer to you. Uh, it's not a re replacement for uh, the check-in over the shoulder, you've still got to do that. But uh, yeah, I think if I actually flat foot now, yeah I can see the whole of that cupboard now. I can see the whole, if I dip down a bit, you can actually see the whole width of that cupboard that you couldn't see before. So okay, I'm going to take the backing off and I'm going to fix the other side as well and uh, they'll be on there permanently and we'll see how they go if it will work uh, if it'll stay on there for a start uh, but also if it will be as good out on the road So in my next update, my next ride out, 
I'll give you uh, my opinion of how much better these are for now. Right on, right safe. Thank you for watching.